Well, in the video, water quench, brine quench versus oil quench, a lot of people had guessed that actually that A was the brine water quench, well, in fact, B was the brine water quench. And the reason it failed was because the container I had the brine solution in was too small and I'd only really used that to do the video. And it was too small so I couldn't agitate the blade in it to break the bubble barrier. And what the, this is kind of like, like a, they kind of call it a, a vapour barrier. So what the bubbles do, the bubbles form around the steel because it's hot as it goes in. And they form a barrier between the actual water or the brine, the coolant, uh, and the bubbles. So the bubbles form a barrier on the surface so the coolant can't actually get to the surface to cool it down. And in this case, that is what happened. That's why we only got a couple of little areas there that are actually hardened. Now, I, th I think it was De Dennis of Knife Knifeworks asked me, what's the point of quenching in water or brine if, you know, if, if oil will give you a perfectly good hormone? Well, the reason is that, that water is supposed to give you a much nicer hormone because it's faster. Um, that's, it's, traditional, it's traditional for the Japanese sword makers. They used water to quench the blades and they, some magnificent hamones, but the caveat is that that steel that they're using was different. It's, it wasn't W2. So in some respects, it's not, you're never going to get that effect with W2 that the Japanese sword makers had because, you know, they used uh, Tamahagani, is it? They, they used to make their own steel. They'd smelt it and it was a particular type. So, yeah. Well, I've refined the grain in this and I've surface ground it again to take all the decarb off. Um, and now it is ready for heat treating again and as you can see the clay pattern is different for one thing the clay isn't as thick on this one but it is thicker on the legs and but narrower so let's see what difference this makes to the hormone appearance if any okay it is cooked let us go in See the clay's fallen off this time, completely stripped. So whether that actually shows up as a hormone, we'll have to see. Ideally you want the clay to stay on. Well no tempering yet and I've just run that on the grinder to clean them bevels up just so you can, because when you get down to about 100 grit on the grinder you'll, you'll be able to see if you've got a hormone. Yeah right, it's really high up and that's a consequence of having thinner clay, um, it, there's not as much heat held in the top so it takes your hormone up. Well there we are, ground and polished. Maybe one more final polish but it won't really affect the appearance of that hormone. That is about it, to get evening light, it's the best way I can figure of capturing this. You can never really see the beauty in these on a camera. It's gotta be in the naked eye. But you can see you can see where that thinner clay has, has pushed the hormone higher up on the blade. I much prefer the first knife that we quenched in 50. There's, to me there's a lot more activity there. It's a much nicer looking hormone. I think the difference in the two is A and L B on the second quench the clay came off. And that's more than likely because I didn't allow it to dry overnight. I kind of speeded up the drying process. So it, it obviously didn't hold on as well as it should. It's come out okay, isn't it? It's a nice amount that. I just prefer the look of that one on the first knife. Yeah. Let me try and catch it for you guys. There we go. There it is, number one. Number one sparkly. I just love this effect in the steel, you know, it takes it's an awful lot of work just to look at it. But it to me it just looks like lightning, a lightning bolt running through the steel and kind of like smoky waves coming off it. It's just absolutely beautiful it is. So they just require handles now and uh, they will be all ready to go on my website. They have a 59 HRC edge on them. Um, so that's it, that's the conclusion. I won't stop trying to achieve a really nice amount with a water quench. 
I'll maybe have a few more goals at it um, before just dismissing it as, you know, complete waste of time. Because when you can get results like that with oil, what's the point? Okay guys, thanks to my patrons, I'll see you quite soon.